Story recapped here. Today, I'm going to explain a horror, mystery, and thriller film called The Midnight Meat Train. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. On a late night train ride, a man wakes up alone, realizing that he might have missed his stop. He walks to the other section of the train, but he slips into a pool of blood, leaving him drenched and afraid. From the other section, he hears thumping noises, as if someone is being butchered, so he takes a look and sees exactly what he thinks. In the busy streets of New York, Leon Kaufman photographs the city and practices it as his profession. He lives with his girlfriend, Maya Jones, in an apartment they rent together. While they spend time together, Maya realizes that Leon's work is causing too much strain and stress on him. She figures out that it would make him happy to call his boss behind his back and let him introduce him to a famous gallery owner named Susan Hoff. The next day, Leon goes to her office with his boss, Jurgis, and officially meets her. Leon explains to Susan that his style captures the unique and gritty shots of the city, but it does not leave a big impression on her. Instead, she criticizes his shots, saying that he is not taking enough risks, and that his shots lack life. Emboldened by her remarks, Leon has a hard time sleeping that night, so he heads outside to seek inspiration for his work. He heads into the city subway system during that night, where he sees the uncrowded place. Just as he is about to go downstairs, he witnesses an impending assault, where three men are harassing a woman, and photographs the scene. He calls their attention, making one of the men start to approach him, and again, he starts taking pictures of the man's menacing face. He points at the security camera to avoid a fight, and the group lets go of the girl before leaving. In a sigh of relief, the woman thanks Leon, even kissing him before she boards the train. By the door, a built-in well-dressed man holds the door for her. After overcoming a stressful night, she happily plays music when the man approaches her from behind and hits her head with a meat hammer, causing her to die instantly. The following day, Leon visits the local restaurant where he is a regular customer. As a vegan, he always asks the cook to fry some tofu that he brings with him whenever he visits, and the cook hesitantly agrees after making fun of him. Leon reads the newspaper that day and discovers that the woman he saved, Erika Sakaki, is reported missing shortly after she rode the train. Concerned by her whereabouts, he feels a sense of responsibility for handing the photograph of her harassers to the police immediately. However, the one in charge, Detective Lynn Hadley, does not seem convinced about his theory and even thinks that Leon was stalking her and is the one behind her disappearance. Later that day, Leon meets with Susan again to submit his photo entries. Her expression is nothing short of amazed, the images have gained her respect for Leon as a photographer, and she asks him to submit two more powerful pictures to be part of her group show in the following week. For the first time in his career, he feels seen and noticed by the higher-ups, that night, along with Maya and Jurgis, they grab drinks to celebrate. However, the celebration ends abruptly as Leon decides to head to the subway again to take more pictures. Three passengers wait for their next stop inside the train, but the train takes another route, making them miss their stop. From the convex mirror, one of them sees the same man who killed the missing woman stand up and come toward them. The woman alarms them about the man, but they pay her no mind and continue to converse. Suddenly, the man smashes his head with a meat hammer, causing his eyeballs to fall out and result in his instantaneous death. The killer's identity is now revealed, who comes by the name Mahogany. He targets the next victim by using a hook to stab him, even lifting him into the air. The woman tries to run away, but slips in the puddle of blood on the floor as Mahogany walks toward her in a sinister way. The man from behind tries to stop him by grabbing his leg, but Mahogany mercilessly hits him with the meat hammer. The last remaining passenger suffers the same fate as her friends and gets beaten with the hammer, resulting in decapitation. Waiting to take the perfect shot, Leon waits outside the station for passersby who look interesting. Mahogany comes up the escalator looking extremely intimidating, so Leon takes a photo of him and follows him around. As Mahogany takes a turn, he senses that he is being followed, so he stops just as Leon takes the turn as well. He gets a little frightened seeing Mahogany stand still, waiting for him to pass by. As he gets closer, Mahogany grabs him, and he sees a ring adorned with eight stars. He nervously explains that he simply wants a picture of him, and Mahogany, fortunately, lets him go. While printing and examining his photos, Leon notices the same ring he saw on Mahogany holding the door for Erica the night she disappeared. This gives him the suspicion that Mahogany is behind the killings of late-night passengers, a myth circulating the city. From then on, Leon devotes himself to investigating Mahogany. He follows him around the city and finds out that he is a butcher. The intrigue Leon waits for him to get off work and follows him to the subway station that night. Oddly, Mahogany is observant and vigilant of his surroundings, he waits for the station to be unpacked, spending hours sitting down, waiting for a possible prey while Leon is busy taking pictures of his new subject. Finally, the train that Mahogany has patiently waited for arrives, but before Leon could enter the same train, a police officer stops him to check his camera. A built man enters the train and tries to make fun of Mahogany before realizing that the train is en route to another railway, missing his stop. Mahogany attacks him, knocking the man at once, but he stops and drops the meat hammer after coughing blood. Little does he know, the man has a knife and gets up to attempt to stab Mahogany, but the killer manages to dodge every attack. The two of them start punching each other, making the train driver, Mahogany's accomplice, alarmed by the situation. 
he comes to the rescue and shoots the man directly in the head before saying that he is disappointed at Mahogany. Meanwhile, Leon surprises Maya in the restaurant where she works with a pre-engagement ring. He is still saving enough money for her to receive a proper engagement ring, and the two happily share the precious moment. That night, Leon dreams of being on the midnight train, butchering numerous victims. He wakes up from his horrible nightmare and sees himself trapped in the obsession of knowing more about the butcher. Mahogany, who suffers from a skin disease, stands in front of a mirror and uses a scalpel to remove the excess skin that is getting worse over time. Weirdly, he preserves the extracted skin and stores it in his medicine cabinet. At home, Maya notices the man consistently in the pictures that Leon takes. He explains that he feels the need to follow the butcher because he may be the suspect in a gruesome crime, but Maya reminds him of the photos that he has to submit to Susan for the show. With his interest completely shifted, Leon goes into further research about the butcher. The following day, he comes to Mahogany's workplace and pretends to be a butcher himself, just to get a glimpse of him and hopefully more evidence. As a vegan, he finds the place very uncomfortable, but he continues to take pictures anyway. Unfortunately, Mahogany spots him secretly taking pictures, so he runs away to avoid confrontation from the menacing man. In the room where animal carcasses are hung, Leon sees him holding a meat hook in hopes of getting a hold of him. He holds himself up with the animal carcass so Mahogany would not see him, but as he goes down, the scary butcher chases him, but he safely escapes. The disoriented Leon meets up with Jurgis at the restaurant, who is having a big plate of steak at the moment. Leon seems to crave meat that day, so he grabs a piece of the steak and eats it, leaving the cook and Jurgis shocked by his behavior. Later that day, he gathers newspaper articles related to midnight train murders, filling the whole apartment with documents. Maya arrives home to Leon acting frantically and bombarding her with information about the disappearances of people, a scheme fueled by the butcher. Annoyed by his obsession, Maya begs him to stop shooting at night and calls his investigation a whole conspiracy theory. To clear his mind, Maya hands him his camera to take portraits of her, but he only sees visions of the midnight train and the butcher, unable to click the capture button. Leon makes it up to her and apologizes to Maya for being paranoid about the butcher. Still, out of nowhere, Leon sees Mahogany's reflection, which is just outside the restaurant, seemingly taunting him. Instantly, it wakes up Leon's obsession once more, so he makes his way to the subway station, boards the train, and is ready to take more photos of the butcher. During the ride, Leon sets his eyes on Mahogany, who is in another section of the train. Some passengers board the last stop, who end up being killed with a meat hammer. Leon witnesses the bloodbath and instantly confirms his theories of Mahogany being a serial killer. He takes up all his courage to stand up and take the pictures while the butcher is busy cleaning up the scene. Horrifyingly, he sees Mahogany extract the victim's teeth, nails, and hair before hanging them upside down. Mahogany notices Leon and smirks at him, causing the photographer to run along the aisle. As he reaches the end of the train, Mahogany smashes his head against the window, knocking him down. Once he regains consciousness, he finds himself inside the slaughterhouse, still alive. He comes home and ignores Maya, who is deeply concerned about him. Inside the bathroom, he discovers strange markings on his chest, which Maya sees shortly after. Leon reveals Mahogany's scheme to her, but with the lack of evidence since his camera is taken away from him, he is sure that the police will not buy his story. Maya gets alarmed by his behavior, but she believes him enough to seek the photos he took. Along with Jurgis, she plans on retrieving Leon's camera, so they head to Mahogany's apartment. After breaking in, Maya and Jurgis examine the apartment separately. He scours through his tools while Maya enters the bathroom, where Mahogany preserves his extracted skin. Unknown to them, the butcher returns to his apartment and captures Jurgis after finding Leon's camera hidden in the closet. As Maya makes her way out of the bathroom, she sees Mahogany's bag and timetables that record more than 100 years of murders on the train. She runs to safety after seeing Mahogany's shoulder from the closet. Knowing that Jurgis has suffered an untimely tragedy, she reports the disappearance of Jurgis, but Detective Hadley is still skeptical of her claims. According to her, she sent an investigation team to the apartment, but they didn't find anything. When Detective Hadley presses Maya to give back the timetables, she demands answers, but the officer remains unhelpful. In the gallery, Leon attends the event, where he is introduced to clients who find his work exceptional. However, Leon is too stressed to maintain a conversation with anyone, so he walks around the gallery until he stops by one of his photographs with Mahogany in it. He observes it intently until Susan asks what is wrong, before walking away, he tells her, I have a train to catch. Meanwhile, Maya takes a gun hidden in the restaurant and finds Detective Hadley outside, who finally gives her the whereabouts of Jurgis on the train. While she boards the train, Leon gathers several weapons from the slaughterhouse, now ready to combat Mahogany in full butcher gear. On the train, Maya realizes that the train took another direction, so she stands up bravely and makes her way along the aisle, where Leon sees her. Afraid for her life, he chases the train and manages to climb from it. Mahogany has just completed his nightly massacre, and Maya sees Jurgis hanging from a meat hook, her screams alerting the sinister Mahogany. She tries to shoot him but misses every shot, so she resorts to running back to the other end of the train. However, Mahogany throws his meat hammer and hits her leg, causing her to fall. Now that she is cornered, the killer comes forward and almost strikes the hammer at her, but Leon calls his attention just in time. Both of them come face to face and fight between the swinging bodies that are ripped, thrown, and used for defense. Their brawl continues climatically as the two recklessly throw themselves against each other. 
Jorgis, hanging from a meat hook, dies after being gutted in Mahogany's attempt to hold on. Finally, Leon throws Mahogany out of the train, but not long before it hits its final stop. Maya approaches Leon, slightly relieved that they both survived. The train lights go out at the final destination, and the driver calmly informs them to step away from the meat. They find out the purpose of the abandoned station, as reptilian creatures enter the train and start consuming the bodies of the murdered passengers. Both of them step down and enter an underground cavern, covered with skulls and decomposing bodies. The battered mahogany returns from beneath the train with his eyes transformed and fights in a death brawl with Leon, who finishes him at last by impaling the butcher's skull on a blade. Mahogany demonically grins in his dying breath, pronouncing the single word welcome. The train driver picks up Leon after attempting to attack him, rips out his tongue, and eats it. He continues to tell Leon that the carnivorous creatures had lived underground long before the subway existed, and Mahogany's job is to feed them every night to keep them from civilization and attacking train riders during the day. He then approaches the unconscious Maya, who lies on a pile of bones. Brutally, he lets Leon watch as he cuts her chest open to extract her heart before handing it to Leon, now that he must take the dead butcher's place. The following day, a new butcher is up for the job and wears the same ring with the group symbol. He meets Detective Hadley, who hands the train timetables, revealing that she is part of the secret society. The new killer makes his way onto the midnight train, looking for a new victim, and reveals himself as none other than Leon. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications. And leave a like it really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.